What's up, pimps and pimpettes? It is day 120, possibly 30 something. Um, took a little break, been uh, installing a lot of stuff. We just didn't want to show all over the internet. Um, we got security coming in soon. Working on the water pressure here. Thank you. We got some paint up. Uh, like, yeah, no problem. Uh, we got 150 out here. Yeah, I saw what you were talking about. And another thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. So we got our HVAC running right now. Going. We got these guys in here running a chicken wire game across all the studs. Like so. Now what they're going to do with this chicken wire is leave it right there and they're going to stuff the walls with this acoustic batting right here and then after that they're going to start putting up the drywall finally in the studio rooms uh, the only reason we've taken this long to get it up is because you know we sprayed this uh, cell bar material all over the spot and uh, it just took forever to dry we did like a extra like noise isolation coating uh, two inches of this stuff is uh, Pretty much, it is complete noise isolation. We were on two and a half inches, just blanketed everything, and it just took forever to dry. And we didn't have the HVAC systems running. You can see uh, it's a return right there. We got the air pumping in through those and through this bad boy. And uh, we had to wait till we got the systems running before uh, we could put the walls up because we needed the air coming in here to dehumidify all the water that's still trapped in these walls and in the cell bar and everything is just about dry as um dry as heck pardon me but uh just this one back wall is up against a bunch of cinder blocks uh and it's between two buildings and there's some earth over here so the temperature of it has stayed colder and for i don't know the exact um, scientific reason but it's just been way difficult to dry out those walls anyway we're finally at a point now because we've had the air conditions um, installed and running that we can install this wire then install this batting and install the walls i don't even know if install is the right word but you get me um put up the walls and then we've got the lights coming in today, light fixtures coming in today, not for these rooms. Uh, the LED lighting for these rooms are uh, back ordered by another two weeks, but that's cool. We've got a ton of other stuff going on. Um, it seems like things have been going uh, on a bit of a crawl the past couple weeks, but uh, big power outage issues, uh, storm issues in the state. And uh, it just took a minute to get us uh, back uh, crack a So... It's going though, and uh, we're pumped, and I'll talk to you soon. All right, hold on. Finally got some tile work done. Hey yo, we got a uh, same day. We've got these first set of light fixtures coming in today. It's been a minute waiting for these bad boys, but uh, we changed up the order. We went with the. Uh, cooler classier uh, fixture uh, these there's 30 of them for uh, everything from the hallways to all the classrooms everything except for the studio rooms uh, these are those bad boys what's up uh, we got a little work going on with our bistro kitchen new cabinets shelves being put in. Come on, come. 
kind of hold that off a little bit this way so it doesn't scratch. Okay. While I pull. All right. Got you. Okay. You good? We also got the light fixtures in, like you saw earlier. As soon as this is done, I'm gonna go show you what it looks like. This is copper piping for the ice machine for the freezer. Let's take a look at this bad boy. Very, very big fan of this fixture. I'm glad we went with it instead of a uh, traditional ones with just like you know a piece of plastic across the grill or the grill across the face of the fixture. I'm not sure what the exact word is. This has got this cool pattern right there. Boom. Where are our right, check this out. In the uh, control room in the studios, uh, we're gonna have LED lighting uh, split up into six sections between each room and each there's going to be a master light fader panel put together that's going to be able to control all the lighting dimmer switches for the lighting which are going to be noiseless which is wonderful because they're led and they're all going to be controlled by these faders right here or dimmers this is going to be an on and off switch going to go up and down. They're going to be on one big unit. There's going to be six of them all next to each other and they're going to be accessible on at the mixing station. So it's going to be like, well I don't know whether to have it down like this or if I should have them turn around like this. Um, I think it's sort of cool to have lights up here. It's like, wow! Boom! How do you like that light? Boom! How do you like that dark? Or it's actually probably going to go this way. Dark then light. I don't know. If you got any comments please let me know. Because uh, I never have a problem with good suggestions. Hey, do you see any so reason for me to keep these fans first, here anymore? we got our first session huh? of acoustic batting going on. Do you see any reason for me to keep all these fans here anymore like that black one? We're not going to need that anymore, are we? What? That fan. Yeah, you can take it. Now, I mean, we don't need that anymore. Let me see. It's going to end up going in all the way up. Again, that's uh, where they spent the better part of the day installing this chicken wire, attached the studs all around the perimeter of the inner walls of both rooms so that they can lay this batting in and have it stay and never fall or fold up uh, because once we start putting the walls up on these studs there's really uh, we would prefer not to have any reason to ever have to go back into those walls another issue we're dealing with right now is that this stuff has dried completely but still a little wet on there and I think we're just going to attach some air going into uh, these cavities of both walls on this uh, this side because uh, a mold problem supersedes any um, sound issues we may have which is saying a lot. How far is in there?
I'm gonna get up and call it tomorrow and maybe get some money for me too. I haven't nice. made a draw for me. I haven't had a couple weeks now. Yeah, you should definitely uh, get on that. I'm sure.